Hi guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Dwan Ndaira Siweda and in this video today, I'll be sharing with you three accounts that will allow you to save on a month to month basis, right? One of the factors that people actually look into when they're deciding on choosing an account is actually high interest rates. Unfortunately, the account from the bank which gives the highest interest rates is actually a fixed deposit account however the fixed deposit account does not allow you to save more so you only put or deposit that lump sum of money and you cannot access it until um the maturity of your money unless if you want to cancel which has a high penalty fee okay so now i went in to look what are the accounts that has a relatively high interest rates and can allow you to deposit on a month to month basis so the goal here is actually to build to build a habit where we get to save on a month to month and you know get to enjoy the fruits of saving on a month to month basis okay so i chose three types of accounts and i'm going to speak about the uh, characteristics of this um accounts and then you will decide which one is more aligned with um, the things that you want to do after saving this money and what you want to do entirely, right? Okay, number one is the flexible account. This flexible account is offered by the bank. I believe the standard bank one is called Flexi Advantage. The FNB one is called Flexi Fixed Deposit, right? So I know other banks probably has it. I'm not sure if Capitec has it. But this account, like the word say, is flexible. So it allows you to, to fix a portion of your money and still be able to deposit some more and still be able to withdraw some more, right? Fixed deposit account, the biggest benefit of it is also the fact that you cannot withdraw as you wish, meaning that you get to wait until your money matures and get to do what you initially intended for your money to do, which is good. So the flexibility account or the flexi advantage account allows you to withdraw for the standard bank one. It allows you to withdraw at least 40% of the money that is in the account. I don't know if it's the deposited amount or 40% of the overall amount. You can check that on the website, right? However, this account at least allow you to withdraw at least 40% right and you can still deposit on a month to month basis which is what you wish for okay but if you do not have the di discipline if you struggle with the discipline this is such a challenging account because you still have ability to withdraw that money in as much as you have the ability to deposit to it you still have an ability to withdraw right and in terms of interest rates on this account Unfortunately, it's not like too high, but um, it's okay looking at the fact that this is only in six months period, right? So I think it ranges around 6% for all the banks. So go check and confirm with the banks, the bank in which you use, they offer relatively around 6% on this Flexi Advantage account. So at least you get to be able to get some interest rate at the same time you get to deposit money as well. And then it's not very long, so you can access your money in just 12 months and you can access a bit of your money at any time if you want, right? So number two is the Government Retail Bond top up account right i have a whole video talking about this account um alone right this is a fixed deposit account so you are allowed to deposit at least 500 rand 500 rand to open this account and you are um there's um there's a debit order of 100 rand that you should be depositing on a month to month you can deposit more minimum is 100 rand so you're not allowed to hold this account if you do not plan on depositing at least a minimum of 100 rand right so this account actually encourages people to actually save on a monthly basis i love this account right and um you can deposit any any money at any time which is nice you can also deposit 100 rand or more at any time on, on a monthly basis which is really nice so one thing that you need to keep in mind on the government retail bond top up account is that it's a fixed deposit for two for for three years so you will not be able to access your money for at least three years so the initial amount plus the money which you deposited in between you will not be able to access it you should but you will be able to top up on this account 
the beauty the most beautiful thing about this account is the fact that it it gives the highest interest rate versus other accounts that allows you to deposit more it offers you at least nine percent speaking on the 13th of january 2023 right so they're giving you nine percent which is high and it's higher than what the bank can give you anyway right so it's a good account except the fact that you cannot withdraw in case of an emergency or in case you want to do a project or in case something comes up so you cannot withdraw however you can still cancel this account at any time let's say for an example in case of an emergency you can cancel it and get your money but there is penalty fee and make sure you are aware of what those penalties are so that you don't get shocked by the time you cancel the account right last but not least one of my favorite which is etfs through tax-free savings account and i personally use the one from easy equities because well easy equities is user friendly okay so you get to deposit money into the easy equities account transfer it on your tax-free savings account and get to buy etfs right what i like about this type of an account is that it allows you ability to deposit ability to invest on a month-to-month -month basis also ability to withdraw but the biggest advantage is that it can give you an exposure to buying shares right so you deposit your money after depositing your money on your tax-free savings account you you still need to buy what is called ets ets are grouped stocks which are like a basket of individual shares that are grouped together by uh, asset managers or uh, account managers. And then they decide for you what shares needs to be in this basket and you go and buy that basket, which is decided by professionals, right? So this is nice because um, stock market is known to have outperformed cash in, in the longest time. The unfortunate part about keeping cash is the it's the inflation portion that the value of your money really uh, deteriorate over time and on the etf side if you choose the correct etf the right type of an etf really you can make more than seven percent annually that's if you choose the correct one so also the disadvantage about maybe etfs through a tax-free savings account would be the fact that um the profit or the interest rate that you can get which is capital gains is not guaranteed is based on the performance of the stock market so depending on how much or which etfs you choose and how that etf is going to perform you can get either 30 percent or you can get minus 10 percent so yeah depending on what you want to do with your money Oh, I think one more thing, when it comes to ETFs, you have to be looking at it from a long-term perspective because the longer you stay in the market, the better you benefit from the stock market, right? So yeah, I guess that's it from my side. These are the accounts that I feel like are user-friendly, especially for beginners and someone who is who's starting uh, to save. And they're user-friendly, they give you good interest rates, they give you good returns, and you can start with them. That's it from my side. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.